Yeah, that's good. Yep. Okay. So I'll just I'll start everybody off. So, so good morning, everyone, and uh, you know, thanks for joining us again for our next workshop. So, um, and Asunta Pereira from Computer Pals in C, uh, Computer Pals for Seniors in Karinga, which they're based in Linfield. Um, is going to tell us how to access all the good things you can find on your television. So as before, there'll be opportunities for questions. You're welcome to ask during the presentation. So either wave your hand or there's the little um, uh, reactions button down the bottom says raise hand. You can use that one um, or just shout. Possibly there's not too many of us, so um, it should be fine. So what I, you all will have been muted before you sort of on entry, so you'll need to unclick or you need to click the little um, microphone icon with the red line through it down on the bottom left hand corner of your screen if you want to ask a question. So otherwise, I think we're off. So thank you. So, 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 do they, so do they ask questions by sending um, via chat and then you tell me later? Yeah, okay. Can be, can be through chat as well. All right, so I should warn you that I'm not 100% um, familiar with sharing a screen. So we might have a few issues. So be patient, please. So as uh, Robin mentioned, I am a volunteer with Kuringai, uh, Computer Powers for Kuringai, and we are based in Linfield. We offer one-to-one -one tuition or group workshops, and during COVID, it has been on Zoom. So the Zoom sessions I run at least once a week on iPhones and iPads, but we have a general chit-chat really on any problem that people need fixing. And also um, there are other members who can solve the problem as well. So they might have other ideas. So it has become a discussion group and a catch up group as well. So um, I will just share the screen on, can you see that? No. So this is our website. Can everybody see the screen I'm sharing? Yes. I hope. Oh, good. So please let me know that if, if you can. So this is our website, and um, if you need any help, just ring the number that you can see. And so it kind of shows you what we do. And we also have a new um, service that we can scan all your old photos. So if you have any books and books of photos uh, or boxes of photos, you can bring them in and we can scan them for you and put it onto a USB. Um, so if you'd like any of our help, we would like you to um, join our club and you can ring, uh, can you see that screen now? Yes. Okay, so this is, this is the application form um, or you can just ring the number that you saw previously. So uh, there's a one-off joining fee of $5 and a subscription uh, which is annual is $10. And most of the everything else is free. But if you want the photo scanning, I think it's ten dollars per session to scan hundreds and hundreds of photos. Um, so, so today's talk is on a, a world of entertainment on your TV. So, to enjoy everything that's available on your TV, um, you need a smart TV. So, uh, a smart TV. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, you can. Okay, sorry. Yes. I thought you were shaking your head. I've got a smart TV. <laughs> but that's all right. Oh, okay. You, so, can, you can have a look at things on your phone screen or your iPad screen as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get yeah, I'll get to that. A smart TV, I, I guess, is a, a TV that you can connect to the internet. Yep. So you can connect wirelessly like you would your phone, et cetera, or you can connect via an internet cable. So at the moment, my laptop is connected by cable because I didn't want to um, have the internet drop off, the Wi-Fi drop off. So this allows you to watch pay TV, stream music, videos, browse the internet, et cetera. And yes, you can connect um, anything on your phone and on your iPad or whatever device uh, to the TV also. So uh, most of the smart TVs now come with apps built in. So you will have, this is the remote from my TV. So you can see Netflix and Amazon actually have their own buttons. So if your smart TV has apps built in already, more than likely those buttons will appear on the remote control. 
Now, if you don't have a smart TV, you can still connect um, your devices using- Asunta, just sorry. Um, you, sorry, Asunta, you've still got your computer pals on the screen. Is that the one you wanted? No. So, okay. so okay. what do I, so I'm sharing- so just, uh, click, just click on your screen. Just click on uh, the one that you're looking at. Hmm. I am. Okay. Uh, so did you, did you okay. see, did you see, so shall I stop sharing and then start again? Yes, that might work. Yeah. Okay. So, so I've, I've sorry moved on to the my PowerPoint presentation. Yes. So, can you see that? Yeah. It'll probably come up in a minute. So just click on click on your PowerPoint. click on the screen that you want, and then down on the bottom left bottom left hand corner it also says share screen again. So. There should be a little pop up when you when you click on share screen. It should pop up with the with your uh, the things that you've got open on your computer. Ah, here okay. we go. There we go. All right. Sorry. Okay. Excellent. That's great. Okay. Now we're good. Yep. Uh, so I've gone through the smart TV. So I'm now showing you the, my remote control, which actually has Netflix and Amazon built in mm. um, as a, as a separate button. So. If you have a smart TV, all you do is press those buttons and you, you can watch whatever you want. Um, so the other way to make your TV smart, if you don't have a smart TV, is um, to connect a device called the Chromecast, which is provided by Google. And there's another device called the Apple TV, which is provided by Apple. And then there's uh, things like, um, can you see that or am I yeah. blocking the view? Okay, so this is a fetch box which you can buy outright or you can um, uh, yeah, from you can, um, get it through your internet provider yeah, from Optus. and from retailers. And this is another one which is a Telstra box. So there are lots of devices you can make your TV smart if you don't have a um, smart TV already. Mm. So just trying to catch my thoughts. So all these devices connect to your TV um, using an HDMI connection. Most of the TVs would have at least one, if not four HDMI connections. So you can actually connect uh, DVD recorder or DVD player and one of these devices as well. Uh, the previous Chromecast, so go back to this uh, screen where the um, Chromecast uh, device I was showing, uh, I had trouble connecting my iPhone to my TV using Chromecast because it seems to lag behind with the internet. I would get the sound and the video a few seconds later. It was quite annoying. But good news is that recently Google, as in this last few months, has launched a new device. Now it maps Apple TV completely. Uh, the reviews I had a look at said that they still lack uh, connection problems with the internet, but in terms of what they provide, it's very similar to the Apple TV. So if more than likely, I suspect if you have an Android phone, you would use Chromecast and if you have um, uh, Apple device, you would use Apple TV to make you your TV smart or to watch whatever you're watching on your Apple device on a bigger screen. In the meantime, of course, Apple gave their software, which is what they call AirPlay, that helps you to put your phone or your iPad, whatever is on there to your TV. It's called AirPlay. And this is a symbol that you would need to look at and this is the Chromecast symbol. So I just thought I'll put that on so you can see um, what you should be looking for. So Apple gave their software to the TV manufacturers. So if you have a TV, for example, an LG TV later than 2019, you can update your TV to have AirPlay, which means you can bypass Chromecast and Apple TV and simply connect your phone or iPad or Mac directly to the TV. So whatever you're watching on your phone, you can see on a big screen. So if you go uh, quickly run through how you would um, find this. So to see if you do have AirPlay, 
Um, I will maybe talk about how to update your TV. But most of the TVs I would say were originally set up to update automatically for any new software, like you would your computer or any other device you have at home. Um, so if you use your remote control and you look at this connections button, this is what you would see. So there's the airplay symbol. Can anybody see that? So mm -hmm. that I have updated my TV about maybe two months ago. And now I don't need Chromecast, which is still in my box because it was useless. Um, <laughs> and I don't need to buy an Apple TV. So I can connect my phone, whatever I'm watching on my phone, straight onto the TV. So yes. if you, um, I will talk later on how to, up, if you're not sure how to update your um, TV software, I can talk about that later. So if you do have a smart TV and you click on this home button here on your remote control, this is what you will get. So you have all these, this is the ribbon at the bottom and all the apps that are installed oh, on no. the um, TV would, would show up. So the TV is a few years old and Stan wasn't in the picture, you wouldn't have Stan. So recently they have a new platform called Paramount so the, the, my TVs don't have Paramount because it's only been around for about a month. So I need to add that app onto my TV. And adding apps to your TV is actually quite simple. So this is an LG TV. So if when you hit the home button, you get this LG store content. And you press the home button, you get the remote control, you get the LG store content. You select the app that you want, and then you press install. And if you can't find the app, you can actually search for it. So I looked up, I don't have a Samsung phone, but I looked up how to upload um, apps onto a Samsung TV, and it's the same. So you go to the apps, select the um, uh, app you want, and select install. It's that simple. And as apps, are, um, new apps arrive, like the Paramount, the TVs will update to include these. So I also checked Sony TVs because a lot of seniors I know have Sony TVs. They also have a Google Play Store where you can um, download apps. So all your stand, um, all the um, pay TV platforms can be downloaded onto a, onto a TV. So, but if you don't have a smart TV and like me, I have connected on another TV, which is not that smart, an Apple TV, this is what you will get. So I've connected the Apple TV box that I showed you before. I'll just quickly go back and show this one here. So this is the Apple TV box that I have connected to that TV. And when I hit um, Apple TV, this is what I will get. So these are all the apps. Some of them came with the Apple TV box, some of them I have installed. And there are more. So this is the next screen. So you can see I'm a cricket tragic. So I've got cricket apps um, uploaded on there. And this I didn't even upload, but this is actually my Apple Watch activities. So Apple's obviously recognized that I have an Apple Watch and they put it on my Apple TV. How nice of them. Mm -hmm. So this is the new Google uh, Chromecast. I don't have anybody who has that. So this is just from the internet. So they have mapped what Apple is doing. So they are putting apps on. So before the Google Chromecast was simply to make your TV smart, like you connected the internet to the TV and nothing else. And then you had to use your Android phone or Apple phone to um, connect to the TV. Now they actually provide all the apps that you need. And again, you can download other apps that you want um, from the Google Play Store. So just to be fair, so this is what's available on Fetch. So they also have the same apps. And Telstra Box. So Telstra, this is the latest one from the internet I've downloaded, actually has added that Paramount. So if you want to watch anything on Paramount, uh, and you don't have anything newer than say last month, you would have to download the app and it's quite simple to do. 
Now, once you have all these apps on your phone, either uh, uh, so on your computer, either through, a, because you have a smart TV or through attaching one of these boxes, um, how do you choose what to watch? Now, this is a real quandary because I looked up CanStar and they have listed the top 10 platforms and they have rated it according to all different criteria. So this is the top six or eight and the rest. So there are many, many. And of course they haven't got um, uh, Paramount because with that, that's new. So there was a discussion re recently on the radio as to how you would subscribe and what you would subscribe to. And some were saying, or you, if you know that you want to watch a particular program, you would, um, on say Netflix, you would subscribe to Netflix for a month, watch that program, watch whatever else you have, then cancel that subscription and move on to Stan and then watch what's on there. That way you're not paying for Netflix while you're watching something on Stan. So if a new series comes on uh, Amazon Prime and you want to watch that series, then you move on to Amazon Prime and you cancel your Netflix and Stan. But after doing this for a few months and you find that you are constantly watching Netflix, then obviously your choice would be to keep subscribing to Netflix. So this is the discussion people were having. So I know families who subscribe to all, especially the kids, and then they share. So the kids would subscribe to Stan and share with their parents. And so I do that with my son, he subscribes to Netflix and I share his account and I subscribe to Amazon Prime and he shares my account. So there are lots of ways to do it. So Netflix would have say $10 for one account, um, maybe a few dollars more, $14 for two accounts. It goes like that. And there's a choice of whatever you want to do and however many people you want to watch who wants to watch that platform. So, um, the best way to pay for these, and apparently if you don't have, um, want to, if you want to keep canceling, it's not that simple. But I find that if I um, use a card, like an Apple card from a supermarket, say it's a $20 card, and you put that on your phone and you subscribe to Netflix, and it's say $15, and the next month when you want to renew and there's not enough funds, they will send you a message. And then you can decide to cancel or to renew. And then you get yourself another card and you renew. So this way you can control how much they're charging you. And similarly, you can um, Google Play Store cards are available from a supermarket. So if you have Google Chromecast, you could do the same thing. And um, I think uh, Apple has a really good system. So if, under your ID, you have all the subscriptions listed. So you can cancel any time or top up any time using these cards from your supermarket. The other option is to use a card from a post office. So you can take, if you want to say, join Netflix, you take $20 to the supermarket, um, to the post office, put it on the card, and then you use it up. And then when Netflix wants to renew, there's not enough funds. So they will send you a message and then you go and top up. And if you don't want to use Netflix anymore, you can cancel and move on to another platform. So this way you can control what you are doing. So I would not put a credit card when I'm subscribing to a TV station or a TV platform. Otherwise they will just keep renewing and you sometimes you don't even know. So I was talking to my sister this morning and she says she pays $1.50 for Fetch and she doesn't even know why she's paying it because she's forgotten and she's obviously not using it. So this is how they make money. So it's best to have a card with a limited amount of money. That way they send you reminders. Oh, so this happened to me this recently, last week actually. Um, I had run out of my $20 and $30 cards. I needed to update my Apple storage. So I used a $50 Apple app card, which I had, Apple store card. So I had $50 credit. And of course my KO Cricket, um, subscription updated because that's $25 a month. And I said, hang on, I didn't give them permission to update this. So when Apple sent me the receipt, there is an option to cancel. So I canceled just for the fun of it to see what happens. 
And sure enough, and Apple asked why, and I, yeah, there's space for you to fill in. And I said, I actually didn't mean to renew that. I was updating my Apple storage, not the KO Sports. And they've refunded the money. So I watch KO um, when there is cricket on. And there wasn't any cricket on this month. And the cricket starts next month, I think. So I will subscribe then. So this way, you're not paying for something you're not watching. So that's another reason to use your Apple subscription or Apple ID to subscribe to these um, um, TV platforms. I find that really useful. But if you don't want to um, pay for TV, there's free to air channels. And all the smart TVs and these boxes I've been talking about all have apps for every free to air channel. So ABC has iView. SBS has SBS on demand, channel seven is seven plus, channel nine is nine now, and channel 10 is 10 play. All of these, including the um, platforms, um, you have to set up using an email address and a password. And it's really probably better to have just one password. So you remember, if you're, especially if you're shopping and changing, it's have one password for all the platforms and it's easy to cancel and move on to another platform and not have to worry about which uh, password you use. Or you could have uh, the part, name of the platform as part of your password and the, the rest the same. The other option, if you don't have a smart TV and don't want to buy a box to make it smart is to connect your phone directly to the TV. And this is a system we have set up. I'm not sure, Sue, whether you remember, at our training center. So when I'm giving a session on iPad or iPhone, I connect my iPhone or iPad with this device to a big screen on our, in our training center. So everyone can see what I'm doing on my iPhone. So this is a $75 adapter. It has a lightning connection at one end, this end, and the HDMI connection at that end. So the, the end of this HDI cable is connected to the TV. And um, Android phones will have the same. So like the Samsung phone would have a micro USB at this end and HDMI at this end. And the other HDMI is connected to your TV. So that you can connect your any Apple device that has this connection. And you can buy an adapter for any device really, if you look for it. And whatever you're watching on your phone, your iPad or your Mac, you can watch on a big screen. It's one really simple way. So you can have all your platform, TV platform apps, uh, streaming services on your phone and connect it. Um, once you're downloading what you're watching, just put it straight onto the TV. So I do that with Kale, for example. I find it really easy to get it on my phone. And then I use AirPlay to get it on the big screen, if not use the adapter. So I do, for example, yoga on um, TV. The, the link comes on Zoom, the link comes on my phone and I connect it to a big, big screen. And I see my yoga teacher on a bigger screen than on the phone. Same with other Zoom sessions you do. Um, in fact, I would have done this, um, except my I wanted the internet to be stable, so I'm in my kitchen where there's wide internet. Um, that way, if you're on a bigger screen, you can see a lot more people. So on the iPhone, if you're on a Zoom session, you can see maybe six people and the iPad nine. On a laptop, maybe 12. On a bigger TV, if you're having like a Zoom session with your family, you can see like 20 people. So uh, that's that, that simple, simple connection. The other, a uh, thing I would like to mention is that if you, like me, don't like watching ads, you can record these commercial TV programs. Um, on, a, on the Fetch box, there is a version that um, comes with a recording service, so you can actually record um, TV programs. I have a DVD recorder connected to my TV, so I can record two programs and watch a third one. And then when I have time, I'll go and watch the recorded programs. When I run out of time, I just delete them. So, but you can keep them for as long as you like. There's nobody, no pressure on the time. You can watch whenever you like. The new TVs, I'll just go back to my um, new TV remote 
actually has, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Uh, a guide. So if you go to the guide, um, it, a TV guide comes up on your screen and you choose the program and there's a couple of dots or lines next to the program name. If you click on that, that allows you to record as well. So the advantage of a smart TV is that you can actually record. And when you hit record, you can choose to record that one particular session, one particular program, or that particular program every week. And when you hit record, it asks you to um, insert a USB. So you insert a USB and you can record the programs. And once you record it, you can fast forward through the ads. So here, this is my connections. So you can see that I have a data traveler, which is a USB and another one. So if I want to record programs, it automatically records onto a USB. So you don't actually need a DVD recorder. With the, with the new TVs, um, this is possible. If you have an old TV, then you need to record onto a um, uh, pitch box or um, a, a DVD recorder. I was just thinking um, if we want to, we can have a look at um, some of these, uh, what's available on iView or SBS On Demand. Let me see if I've gone through everything I needed to say. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. So I will now try to um, find So how do I go back to, oh, I don't know how. So you just open another screen and that should pop up onto, uh, so we should be able to see that. If it's not quite working, just uh, close down your share screen and open again. But it should, as you open the one on your, the screen that you see. So whichever one you open on the screen that you're looking at should, should go up in your share screen. I've just got so many things open, you have no idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no, okay. one of those. <laughs> uh, I did have uh, SBS and um, things on okay. here, but I, I can't find it. But anyway, I'll try IVU again. Okay, there's one question. So, um, how much oh, is it? Yeah. How much is an uh, HDMI cable link, and where would you buy it from? So the HDMI cables you can buy for like ten dollars from anywhere, really. But there are really expensive ones at Harvey Norman. Sometimes I remember buying, paying for like $60 for a cable once. And this is early days. And now I find um, you can buy them for $10. Where, where for $10 though? Where Sorry? You, where where oh, for $10? Anywhere, Big W, Kmart, oh, okay. Coors and Woolies will probably sell uh, HDMI cords. D definitely JB Hi-Fi, you can buy them online. Um, if you are looking for HDMI cable, why would you be looking for it? Is it to connect your phone? Well, like you said, for the phone onto the TV. Okay, so you yeah. need to buy the adapter first. Mm. The adapter is $75. Right. The, adapter, the adapter I showed you. Um, am I oh, sharing? I see, sorry, yes, the whole thing, the last slide that you had, it had the adapter with the cable. That's right, yeah, the little white section. <laughs> So that's yeah. the expensive bit, is it? The, the actual little white section is the, the white expensive. The white bit is $75, yes. Mm -hmm. And, and that's from um, JD Hi-Fi. Sorry, am I, am I sharing that screen? Can you see that? No, not yet. Uh, it's the last picture. That's we, okay. So remember it. Share screen and the adapter. Okay, share. That one. Okay. Can you see that one now? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it'll, it'll come up in a yeah, oh. that's the one. Yep. So you buy this that for dollars and then the HDMI cable is cheaper. Yep. Yeah. And most of people would have an HDMI cable at home already because yeah. everything's connected mm. by an HDMI cable. If you have a DVD recorder, for example, or a DVD player, it's mm. connected through an HDMI. Oh, yeah. My TV actually has four DVD connections, HDMI connection. Some mm. computers have HDMI connections. But this is the 
the, the yeah, this is the way to do it, really. Great. Okay. That's good. So I was going to I go through. Are there any other questions? Or shall I go through? I was trying to should go through. Uh, can you see that? What front? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're back. <laughs> I did have. Uh, so how do I share? Um, I have ABC uh, iView on. So how okay. do I share that? So, so just as long as you uh, so share screen and then as long as you click on the screen your the screen that you have open with iView on. If you bring it up, bring it up onto your computer screen. Yep. yep. Okay. Looking like it's Brilliant. happening. Finally Perfect. getting the hang of it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and thank you for your patience. Okay. So uh, this is um, ABC iView, mm -hmm. and you can see home. Um, you can see channels and categories, programs, and there's actually a search button, which I can't see because um, I have people's faces on there. Oh yeah, there's a search oh. button there. You probably can see it. I have people's faces on there instead. So you can actually um, watch live stream TV. So you don't have to go to your TV if you want to watch the news. You can quickly um, open your phone, go into iView and watch live stream news. So this is live stream ABC News and this is live stream um, ABC normal TV, kids programs, whatever. Um, and then you can actually, um, oh, maybe I haven't logged in as me because it won't let me, channels and programs. So you have, uh, um, let me see what they show on. Sh uh, I, I had a really good screen before, which showed all the dramas. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can see what I've been watching. So it's the news and the chemical world, which is fantastic. It's a three part series. Um, and you can watch this anytime and you can watch it over and over again. So something like the chemical world, often you don't digest it the first time you see it. So you can go back and watch it, things that you've missed. Um, and there's a Corona cast, Corona uh, updates. Then there's the latest TV programs. Um, and the good thing is you can watch um, two or three programs. If you want to wait, don't want to wait to see what happens. You can actually watch the second program straight away. So I think Silent Witness has always comes in two parts and I can never wait. So I might as well watch both one after the other. Um, <laughs> That way I don't have to, and, and come the following week, I can't remember what happened the first week, so might, might as well watch it together. <laughs> so this is the advantage of having um, uh, iView and SBS On Demand, and SBS On Demand is similar. So let's see, let me see if I can find SBS On Demand. So I need to uh, go in, how do I get rid of the screen? Oh yeah, there. Uh, might take a couple of uh, might take a minute just to because of a bit of a lag, but it should just pop up. Whatever you see, it should pop up on our screen as well. Uh, here we go. Yep, there you go. That was, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that's yeah. still IB because I can't. I already had SBS, and maybe I need to stop share. Uh, no, no. Sorry, it had come up. There's just a bit of a time lag. So your oh, SBS okay. had come up actually. Come oh, up. sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. It's just a. Um, it's, it takes a couple of minutes. I think Zoom is like that. Uh, so now I have to find where I am and share screen. And is that SBS on demand? Yes, share. Okay. So this is SBS on demand. Again. Okay, it's just it's not quite up, not quite up for us. Oh, here we go. Yep, it's right. good now. Okay, so you have again home, TV shows, movies. So I noticed SBS has a movie channel and you can watch movies, but if you miss it and it's not at a particular time and you haven't got a recorder, you can go back and watch it on SBS On Demand. And there are sports you can watch and you can also, if there are favorite programs, you can add them to your favorites and that way they're there all the time. And the other good thing with um, platforms and SBS and a ABC, is it asks you who's watching. So if you sign in as yourself and you choose your icon that you're watching, it will re remember what you've been watching and it will show you programs that you will be interested in. So if your kids have been watching it, they will get the kids shows and you wouldn't be getting um, kids shows thrown at you. 
same with the platform. So if you go to Netflix, it will give you programs that you are interested in and similar ones to what you've been watching. So it's quite intelligent in a sense uh, and quite scary at the same time because they, <laughs> they know what you like. <laughs> and they've been keeping tabs, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody keeps tabs these days. Mm -hmm. um, so going through SBS, this is what you will see. Um, oh, and the other good thing with SBS is that the um, COVID updates are updated daily and it's in 25 languages. So mm -hmm. you can choose whatever language you want to watch it in. And, uh, and that's a really good service. And again, the news, you can watch it in different languages. Um, these are things that I have watched. So it's asking me to continue watching the US Open uh, and the other TV programs that I've been watching that I like. And these are really good programs, by the way. And, um, and then they give you recently added. And you can um, go to documentaries. You can go to live shows, you can go to collections and you can browse through if there are certain areas that you're interested in or a certain language you're interested in. And the Scandinavian programs are fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, then there's uh, my favorite, the Nordic Noir, which I hasn't come up yet. Maybe that's under Scandinavian now. They may have changed the title. So there's endless programs. It's mm -hmm. And same with channel seven, nine, and 10. The only problem is that there are ads and the ads are worse on the um, catch up TVs because sometimes it's the same ad over and over again. So that's why I tape commercial TV and then I can watch it when I want without ads. Whereas ABC and IV, um, SBS, you can watch anytime. Um, SBS does have ads, but it's not, they're not as bad as the commercial ads, commercial TV ads. Well, that's it, really. If um, is there anything else? Oh, the other thing actually I thought I'd mention was these days there are virtual tours you can do to museums, and you can find these very quickly on your phone, and then you can or a concert, for example. I actually last um, lockdown I got concerts from the UK, and you can connect it to your big screen and it's so much better on a big screen than on your phone. So my, my TV has, if you don't have good speakers, you can actually buy a sound bar. So you get really good sound on your TV. So for concerts and musicals, the big screen is much, much better than your phone. And the audio tours too, you have tours of museums that you can do and you can see um, much better on a big TV. Yeah. You want to um, share your screen or something, and then we can just. Oh. Yeah. But, um, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that that's wonderful. Oh, was it? Was that too much? Is it too fast? Oh, good. <laughs> uh, very helpful. Great. Yeah. I mean, they are they are making it really easy um, these days. Uh, they're simplifying things. Uh, so much these days, and everything is available at you know just on tap, so to speak. Mm. Great, yeah. So just in the gallery. There we go. Yeah. So, does anyone have any questions about that? That was amazing. I, that's so much more than I ever knew. Mm. <laughs> it's great. Where do you yeah, buy the adapters? Is that Apple or just anywhere? Sorry, which one? The adapter. Adapter. Oh, the adapter. I bought mine from Apple, but I think JB sells it. David Jones sells it. I'm sure Maya does. Um, Kmart probably doesn't. The high end stuff. I think you need to go to um, JB or Apple. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Thanks. And they always have it in stock. Whereas Harvey Norman sometimes doesn't have it in stock, or they've sold out, or yeah. So I find, I mean, I on, order online. The other day I ordered something from JB Hi-Fi. I had, it was rather external hard drive. It was here in two days. Mm. Yeah, that was so, uh, yeah, backing up um, for my computer. It was so quick. Mm. And Amazon's really good too. That uh, USB that I have plugged into my TV to record programs, I ordered on Amazon because it was cheapest. That was $20 for 128 gigabyte USB. It was here in like three days. 
Sorry, even with, even, even with the post office. Sorry, what was that? Um, the USB, I think, is that what you said, isn't it? The yes. USB. Yeah. Oh, USB. Uh, if you so, want to record stuff. Yeah. You mentioned museum tours. How do you get those? Is that through the TV or the phone? You said virtual mu museum tours. Um, you can search for them. Um, Australian, the Australian, Australian Museum and the Art Gallery, if you subscribe, oh. uh, if you're members, I often send you the links. Oh. So I'm constantly getting links from our art gallery and our museum. Yeah. But you can do virtual tours of um, Italian museums, Italian art galleries, and there are, um, you can search for them on Google and, and basically once you're in, just connect it to your TV. Yeah. And Irene has a question as well, she's got a little raised hand. So do you want to, you have to unmute yourself, Irene. Okay, yep. Thank you. Um, oh, I just have a, a quick question. I have an I, um, Apple mobile phone, and yeah. then I have an Apple computer. Do I need, can I see TV with these two devices together instead of go to the uh, TV uh, device? You mean, can you watch TV on your phone or your uh, Mac computer without going to the TV? Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. So on the yeah. phone, you need to download the ABC iView app or whichever channel you want to watch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so the apps that I showed you, so it, um, the, the channel 9 is 9 now, mm -hmm. channel 10 is 10 play, channel 7 is 7, yeah. 7 plus, ABC and SBS on demand. So if you download those apps, if you go to your app store on your iPhone, you download those apps. Uh -huh. You need to sign in with an um, email account uh -huh. and a password, and that's all you need. And you can watch it on your phone, yes. And you can watch it on your Mac, uh, yes. You can your watch iPad. it on your computer can I, can and I your iPad. A, okay. Yeah. Can I do another way around, download from the, I, from the computer instead of the iPhone? Yes. Okay, yeah. And then <laughs> okay. I can... And Anne has a question as well. Oh, do sorry. I need to buy special device to connect? No, is it? Sorry? Do I, to, do I have to buy any special device? No. No. Really? Okay, great. Yeah, thank only you. If you. Only if you want to connect your computer to your big TV. Oh, so if you have, then yeah. I have to buy the, uh, the device, what you recommend. Yeah, yeah, the adapter. Or you try and get AirPlay on your TV, and then you can simply use the Apple software. Okay, so but you can you can just watch it on your uh, laptop or computer, just yeah, without right. without putting it through your screen. It's just a, it depends on how big your screen is for your computer or whichever. So yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I find I find concerts and musicals much nicer to watch on a big screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. The sound yeah. the, the sound is so much better. But even, yeah. even these video clips you get, right? You know, the, so maybe the Bee Gees or Elvis Presley or some other music uh, new person that's singing and there's a tiny music clip that somebody sends you, uh, the latest song, you watch it on your phone and then you connect it to the TV and watch it on the TV. It's so different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, so that's why I ask you, if I want to watch uh, in the TV, I have to buy some device to connect it to, to my computer or iPhone, iPhone mm -hmm. right? Not if you have Apple and not you have a smart TV that has um, uh, AirPlay. So if you have a smart TV, you, uh, you can see, remember I showed you, uh, I can go through uh, my, uh, see, I showed you how to see if you have AirPlay. You can update your TV to have AirPlay. So this is, um, now I'm trying to share screen. Can you see the share screen? Uh, not yet, but it might pop up. Just. Okay, so this So this is my TV and yep. you hit the you hit um, for example this um, connection this is uh, shows you what connections you have. Can you see my remote now? Yeah, yes. yeah I can see it, but the problem is my TV is very old. I don't have that uh, button. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> So if your TV is really old, then you would need to connect it using an adapter. Oh, okay. If your, if your laptop or your Mac computer has a HDMI connection, 
then all you need is a cable. You can connect it directly from your computer or device that has an HDMI connection straight onto your TV with the other end of the HDMI cable. It's for iPhones that I suggested the other um, uh, adapter because iPhones and iPads have a lightning connector at mm -hmm. one end. Yeah. So HDMI won't work unless you have this adapter. Okay. And same with Android phones. Android phones all have a micro USB uh, uh, connection. So you need the adapter micro USB to HDMI. So this end is the HDMI. This end is the lightning uh, or the micro USB. And then you can connect it to the TV. So okay. that means will it, when, when I want to water, I have to connect it at that time, right? Yes, yes. And with this device, yep. you show me. Okay. So All yesterday, right. Yesterday I was doing an um, exercise session on Zoom. The link came on my, on my phone. And um, it's so much nicer to see the instructor on a bigger screen. So I put it, I put it connected it with this, with this adapter to the big screen. And um, I can see her clearly and what she's doing. And then she can see me too, because I leave my phone there. Um, so she can, or the yoga teacher can correct me if I'm doing something wrong. I find that very useful. Yeah. Uh -huh. But where do I get that? This this one here, the the, the adapter. Yeah. Um, JB Hi-Fi or Apple. And that adapter is co uh, connected to TV to uh with this device, right? Yeah. yeah. Can so, I? I got a one similar looks like this, which is uh, connected to my um for recharge. Is it that the same one? To charge the charge, phone. For recharge charge. for the uh, for my uh, mouse and the uh, keyboard with the app for the Apple. Is it the same one? It looks like no, no, the mouse and the keyboard would connect using USB. So you oh. would have lightning, uh, you wouldn't have a lightning connector here. Oh, this, okay. is, this is the lightning, I don't know whether you understand the term lightning. Lightning connector is how right. Apple charges their phone. So their cables would have a lightning connector at one end, which goes to the phone. Oh, okay. And the, cable, the other end is a USB, which goes into a PowerPoint with a USB on it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and that's how you charge your phone, for example. Oh, okay. This yeah. one has a lightning connector to, that goes into your phone, but the other end has a, a port for the HDMI cable. Uh-huh. So you, the cable has two HDMI ends. One goes into this adapter. The other one goes into the TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, sorry, you mean? Yeah. yeah. So this one connected to the this cable. Where I can buy from a uh, Hi-Fi. Okay. JB uh, Hi-Fi. Yeah. When you buy the adapter, you can buy yourself a cable as well. I mean, the cables are twenty dollars and upwards. Or ten dollars and upwards, but um, a, a ten ten dollar cable is just as good as yeah. a twenty dollar cable. What's what's the mm -hmm. name of that cable? HDMI. H H D M I. HDMI. They would know. They would know. JB Hi-Fi would know. Oh, uh, okay. I think you, can probably, you can probably see HDMI written on it on mm -hmm. here. HDMI. I, I, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it because I can't zoom it you know, at the moment because I have to share screen with you. <laughs> oh, okay. A little bit better. Yeah. Okay. It looked yeah. the, 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 the sign symbol like look exactly like that. Uh, let me let me see if I can find the cable and I'll show you the end. No. Uh, thank you. <laughs> if you just ask for it, Irene, I think they'll they'll know which one you mean. So yeah, yeah. Um, if you, explain, if you explain what you want to do, they're probably. Yeah. Well, I can, I'm not sure where the camera is on this. So this is, um, can you see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just unshare your screen maybe, and then, oh, then we'll be able to see you more clearly. Okay. And so I'll this, put you on the as well. This is the HDMI end that I'm talking about, and that's an HDMI cable, really long one. Wow. Okay. My, my son bought this for um, connecting something in the garden because he had a he had a party, 
Oh, uh, okay. Can you oh. see? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see it. Yeah. And this this end connected to the um uh TV. Yeah. Okay. And the other the other end. Thank you very it. much. It helps yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah. So and and uh, you can you can uh, I'm sure they are available um in Kmart and Big W wherever you can buy it online. If you search for HDMI cable on Google, you can see what it looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank and you. Anne. <laughs> Anne has a question as well. Hi, Asunta. Is it's... it possible to put the Google app onto yes. our TV, yes. the Google browser? Yes. So it depends on the TV. So both my, I have two LGA TVs. Both have what they call a web browser. And you, um, do you remember uh, the, if you hit the home button, at the bottom, I showed you a ribbon of all what's connected to the TV. Yeah. If you keep scrolling, you will come to one of those um, uh, platforms called web browser. And okay. on that, in fact, I, I couldn't get 10 play for some reason on the app store. So I ended up getting it from the web browser on, on my LG TV. And yes, you can do Google searches and you can also get a keyboard. If you don't want to use the keyboard that they give you on, on Google, sometimes if you don't have a smart remote, it, you really have to trudge through typing in everything. But you can actually connect a wireless keyboard um, to your TV and use the keyboard, which is on your lap then. Oh. And, and I've done that before, and that's quite easy. And then you can search away, and you can see it on a big screen too, especially if you have um, yeah, not, not very good eyesight. So the other thing I probably haven't mentioned is that Google Chrome and Apple will also work on voice um, activation. So Google Chrome Cast will attach to a Google Home and then you can actually ask Google Home, hey, Google, turn the TV on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Google, turn Netflix on. And it will do it. And Apple has Siri. So like you would ask Siri, hey, Siri, send so-and-so a message. You can ask Siri, hey, turn the Apple TV on and do this, this, and this. And it will do it. So that's really so, yeah, useful for people with, um, I have a senior who has macular degeneration. So I have set her up with Google Home and she gets up in the morning and she says, hey Google, what's today's day? And she's 90 years old. So she says, and hey Google, what's the weather? What's the news? When's the next bus? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Anne Holland says, uh, LG has a voice one as well. So LG yeah. apparently. What's that yeah. called? I've got the same TV that you've got, I think, with the uh, remote. We only got it last year. Um, is it called, begins with A, Alexia or? Um, uh, that's Amazon has uh, this Amazon. I've got the same has, remote as you have and the same. Amazon has an Echo Dot and oh, that, oh that, that replies to Alexa, yes. Oh, okay, so you have to buy that in addition because the TV I got, December last year was the LG with all the icons on the bottom and it said Alexia, but we don't use that. But I well, you might have it. Alexia built in. Yes, so, I think it does. Yes. Yeah, so it will show on your remote. So if it's built in, it will be on your remote because that's one of the things you would need instantly. So, so you, you would press the button. You would press the Alexa button and uh -huh. um, yeah. So this is what they're doing. Now, Apple has given AirPlay to LG and I'm sure they've given it to Samsung TVs and everybody else. So Amazon has done the same. Okay. Um, so it's a, a, a software sharing um, with all these major TV producers, TV, um, TV producers, yeah. Amazing. It is amazing. So my TV is only like two years old or maybe three years old, 2019. And I could upload, I could update it to include AirPlay which is amazing. And the 2018 one can't do it. So I have Apple um, TV installed on that one. So that's just by doing the apps on your phone? Yeah, but you need to update your uh, TV to install AirPlay. That's what you did right at the beginning. Yeah. On the first few slides, you said you could update it. Yeah. 
And you do that by doing it on your phone, then connection to the phone. If no, no, you update your TV software. So, oh. so let me see. Um, so you go into, um, I did have these. You go into um, the button that has that funny squiggle. The um, yeah, Th that's connection. So you go into your home button. So let me go back to this TV remote. Um, that's something okay. I haven't done, so I'm not sure how it works. Okay, so I did say I would up, uh, mention how to update. Okay, so I will need to share the screen again. Now, can you see the TV remote or not? Not yet. Share screen. No. Okay, okay, so this come up in a minute. Okay, share. Okay, oh, yeah. so this is your TV remote. If you hit the home button. Yes, which is? Uh, which has a picture of a home, a house, yeah. this one here oh. that I'm pointing to. Can you see what I'm pointing to yes. with my cursor? So the home button, um, and then you're going to settings. Oh, actually you can hit settings directly. So my remote, oh, this right. remote has a settings directly. So go oh. into settings and then go into general. Okay. And scroll all the way down. And if you scroll all the way down, you get into about this TV. And, and, and it's very similar to your phone or um, other devices, actually. About this TV, would um, if you click on that, it will show whether updates are available. Oh, okay. And in fact, your phone, your computer, if you, um, your TV, if you've only bought it last year, would already have airplay. Yeah, so to so. see whether you have airplay, um, is this next screen that I showed you? Oh, See if you can. Um, the airplay button with a picture, yes. Airplay, yeah. So the connections button on here, which is oh. this one here, if you oh. press that, you would get all the connections. And yeah. these three dots means there are more connections. If oh. you hit those three dots, you get the rest of the connections. So this will show this is the HDMI, my Panasonic connected. This is um, a USB yes. connection. This is another USB. This is the airplay. This is screen share. Screen share is also um, old technology uh, in a way now because of AirPlay. It's so much quicker and faster. Screen share is also sharing your screen with the TV. So that's another way to do it. But I find it a bit tedious and a bit slow. And uh, AirPlay is much faster. Okay. <laughs> And you should definitely have airplay. If I can update my old TV to have airplay, you would yours would come with it. Mm, mm. Or you should, you should be able to update yours. I've got it on my phone. I've got an Apple phone, so yeah. Yeah. So it should if you if you look at the connections uh, near your TV, it will show you whether the TV will come up. If your TV mm. is connected to the internet, it should come up. Yeah. Thank you. And if it doesn't come up, then I would update to install airplay and then it would definitely come up i think it does automatic updates too every so often yeah. oh in that case you definitely would have it yeah my son uses it so <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. so oh, if you, you can try you can try it now you can try it now if you like um and i'm sure oh, it'll well. come up no, that's okay i've also got an old sony tv but that seems to have what we want to watch I'm not sure about airplay yeah, no sony, sony, sony probably like wouldn't have not. airplay Hmm. Okay. Sony would have. Um, you can download new apps onto Sony from the Google Play Store. So. And you would go into the um, about this TV or the settings again. You would look at settings. Well, you would look at um, uh, the home button and see what's available, and just scroll through till you find um, Google Play Store, and oh, then okay. download the apps like you would on an Apple phone. Mm. or a Google phone, I mean, an uh, Android phone. Yeah, okay. We have a fetch box, so we tend to watch things through that. Oh, great, great. Yeah. So, yeah, so my sister has a fetch box and she says she pays $1.50 and she doesn't even know why she pays that. <laughs> so, right. I have another friend who bought it outright and I think you pay $1 per movie, is that right? Um, I'm not sure. We we have an Optus subscription because my my husband likes the Optus Sport. So oh yeah, I have that. I have that too. But unfortunately, they watching. don't show cricket. Unfortunately, yeah. Optus Sport doesn't show cricket, so I have to subscribe to Ko for the cricket. Hmm. Yeah. It did. And uh, Donald, have another question, or are you? You there? And need to unmute. Yes. Thank you. It was answered. Thank you. 
Oh, okay, that's fine. And Irene, did you have another question? Yeah. Um, because I just heard about you to view the uh, the remote of the TV, I can't find the home button there because maybe my TV is too old, about nine years or something like that. Yeah. It's a Samsung one. So I, I'm what in my mind in, in order to go to too many trouble to buy this and buy this to connect it to my TV or uh, my mobile. What brand of um, TV set we recommend so that easy to match the T, uh, the Apple TV uh, to my mobile and computer? Do you have so any you, recommendation? So you have um, uh, Apple phone and an Apple Mac, is that yeah. right? Yeah. I would go with the Apple TV then, for sure. You mean the, t the, the TV, actually the TV set, is it? No, 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 the box I showed you. Let me see uh, if I can bring that up. The connection box I showed you right at the beginning. Um, so no need to buy a new computer, I mean a new TV to match. No, no, oh, not at all. <laughs> so let me share this screen. So how do I share that screen? Um, share screen. Okay, so if you if you don't if you have one of the old TV now, can you see the screen? Yeah, I, see, I can see it. Okay, so this is uh, if you don't have a smart TV, this is the other way of um, making your TV smart. So th this is the Google Chromecast, um, the latest one, which is like ninety nine dollars. This is Apple TV, which is like two hundred dollars. Uh -huh. This uh, it comes with a, apparently a fancy remote, which I don't have. Am I horrible? Mm -hmm. It's horrible, is it? Yes. It's mm. not good. Who said that? Is that oh, Anne? Sue. Why? Oh, Why Sue. is it terrible? Well, so, you, you, it's, um, you've got to sort of squiggle it around. It, it's not just buttons. Oh, okay. So this is, well, you have what I have. This is the latest one. It doesn't yes. have buttons. But Sue, did you know you can download the remote onto your phone? Can you? Huh? Yes. So there's a... If you go into the App There's Store, I know, I, I, I find I use the remote on my, uh, from my phone, then I do the remote that they came with the box, you're oh. right. So if you go into your App Store, download the Apple TV remote, and I'll show you, uh, I have it on here, my phone, I can, maybe I can show you, uh, remote, yeah. I need to unshare your screen, isn't it? And then we'll be able to see your view. I, I, I know. I'm sorry, I'm doing it on my phone. Um, yeah. oh, you can put it through. It's struggling to open, but I can, uh, it's struggling to open. Now, why is that? Zoom takes lots of bandwidth, so maybe that's the reason. Uh, it could be that it's really weird, Apple TV. Oh, because my Apple TV is not on, the remote won't come on. Isn't that strange? So, so I can't, sorry, I can't show you, but if you go into the App Store, you can download the Apple TV remote, and then you can open up the remote and use it, which is a better remote than the remote that came with the Apple TV. But at the same time, this new Apple TV has a better remote. Do you see it's a different color? It's yeah. bigger, and it's, uh, the other one was really thin yes. and easy to lose. Um, this one is much hard better to use and hard to use. Yeah, I found it frustrating. So I have actually downloaded it, the remote onto my phone and uh, I use the phone remote now and it's so much easier to use and more intuitive. It's just like using your phone. Um, you can use the remote that way. So I suggest you do that. Yeah. yeah. So, so no, no need to connect the cable blah, 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 like this, right? Just by this device. Like this cool. is yeah. This is wireless. You can connect it to your TV wirelessly, or you can connect it. Uh, sorry, this this black box. You need to connect through an HDMI cord to your TV, and and so you can actually buy this separately for seventy five bucks. Apparently, this new. I haven't seen this, um, because I haven't been able to go to the shops. But oh. when the shops open, I do plan to go and have a look and see whether. And everybody's saying this is a much better remote. Right. 
and they've devised it because everybody obviously complained like you and me about how to how the remote they provided with the apple box is useless yes so now you can buy this separately for 75 bucks right so when i um when the shops open i might go have a look at that hmm. But the other thing I, I forgot to mention is that even though my smart TV has all these apps built in, I find um, if I go through the Apple TV, which has the same apps in it, it's much better. It never breaks down. It never loses um, Wi-Fi control. Um, the other, the TV seems to lag. Sometimes iView would slow down or stop. SPS would slow down or stop because of the internet issues at home. But if I watch it through the Apple TV, it never breaks down. It seems seamless. So I think Apple TV is good at concentrating the Wi-Fi signal. So it, mm -hmm. it acts as a hotspot. Mm -hmm. it, it gathers the Wi-Fi signal from my modem and it acts as a hotspot and it's seamless. So I often watch iView through the Apple TV and not through my um, app on the TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> smart TV. So that's another good thing. And I'm hoping Google will do the same thing for um, Android viewers. Is it that means it automatically connected to the Wi Fi instead of the uh, internet, right? Yeah. Okay. So once you connect it to the TV, uh, you, you there's an app on your phone. So Apple TV app, and then it will show you how to connect and it connects wirelessly like you would connect your phone to the um wi-fi the apple tv would, would connect can i use the computer apple connect instead of the mobile uh yes okay. yes because i i find i easier to use the computer than the iphone <laughs> the button you know yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, I try to see where, how it yeah. goes. The other option, if you have trouble um, with your phone, is to buy a stylus. So we had, um, I don't know whether you were there on that session, Sue. We have a senior, um, probably 80, 90 years old again, and he had trouble. Um, he had an iPhone 5, which is ancient to start with, and he had trouble um, using his finger on the apps and instructions. So we actually give our seniors uh, a stylus to use, and that works really well. No, no, the, the problem is I find it's hard to, to touch the button and also the screen's so small, it's very yeah. quiet. Yeah, so that's why, that's why a stylus would work, uh, it would be easier for you. If you buy a stylus, uh, it behaves like your finger, but it's smaller. Yeah. So yeah. instead of hitting two keys, you only hit the one key that you want to hit. Mm. Oh. I, I still prefer the computer because yeah. the, the keyboard is easier. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank Sorry. you. Yeah. Thank Sorry. you. Yeah. So, Anne has said, uh, uh, Anne Holland mentioned the cost of Apple TV. Is it, are, they, are you saying it's expensive or are you asking? I just didn't know because I don't have Apple TV. So in order to so get this that box, box, this box here, I think I paid two hundred and forty dollars. Cheap, yeah, okay. And mm -hmm. this one, the new one, Google Chromecast, is ninety nine dollars. All right, okay. But you only need those if you don't have Apple TV on your smart TV. No, no, no. You only need that if you don't have a smart TV. You're oh, getting confused with Apple TV box with Apple yeah, TV. Yeah, sorry, sorry, yes. Yeah, Apple platform. TV is is like another thing where you can watch. The streaming is a streaming platform yeah. where you can watch TV. Yeah, um, oh, okay. you watch Apple yeah, TV. Uh, I, I understand. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's called Apple TV Plus, the streaming yeah. service, just to oh, differentiate yeah. it from this. Mm. But I noticed the reviews. I mean, obviously, the the Chromecast, this new version, has only been around for a few months, and I have a feeling more and more reviews will come up. The review I read said that it still struggles to connect to the internet. Mm. So, whereas the Apple TV is just the opposite. I prefer it when I'm watching TV because I know it would be seamless. It doesn't break down the, the internet um, connection, the Wi-Fi connection. So I think yeah. I'll $100 for that, just for that. Yeah. Extra $100 worth it, yeah.
Yeah. But if you, if nothing more frustrating than when you're watching uh, iView, for example, and it keeps slowing down and breaking down. Yeah. This is this is one of the contentions. In, in every time I have an iPad session or an iPhone session, every, all the seniors complaining, why is iView always slowing down or stopping? And then a second later, it will start again. So it's it's the trouble is is the internet service, our NBN connections. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think there's anybody got any any other questions? Might just have to, to unshare your screen again, this one too, and then we'll. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Just so that we can see you, everybody. So yeah. So how's everyone feeling? <laughs> Hope you're not confused. That's the important thing. You're not no, confused. that was really good, Asanta. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I'll see you this That was really interesting. Yeah. No, that was very useful, I think, for me particularly. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> Anne, Anne, is that you, Anne, that used to be in my iPad sessions? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, gosh, I didn't know. <laughs> It's because I haven't seen any of the people because I've got my screen open and I've been sharing yeah. screens. So mm. Anne used to be in these iPad sessions. So yeah, they were sessions, good. Those sessions are still going on on Zoom, by the way. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And You're thank welcome. you for today. That was very useful. Was that clear enough? Like, is it? Was it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it was clear. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't too much information. No. No, it was fantastic. Perfect. Yeah, it was really Thank good. you. I don't think I'll buy yeah. a new TV after all. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> That's right. So no. many no. other options. So many other options, yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. I'm off. Bye. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. This afternoon. Bye. 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 Yeah, that was great. Thanks, Asunta. That was so that was good. Really good. Yeah, oh, perfect. Good. Okay. So, I didn't talk too fast. No, it was wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Very good. Bye, Irene. Bye, Irene. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right. Anyway, so um, yeah. So I, what I might do, I'll, I'll send out just your the details about the Computer House of Seniors Karin guy, and um, to whoever whoever's been to this one, and they can contact you, I guess, if they need. Any more, but that was just wonderful. Thank you. That was Great. so much more. Maybe maybe you can uh, maybe you can put our phone number so they can call because I forgot yeah. to mention that we are about to change platforms on our website. Okay. So we, if they try to log into our website, we could be in the middle of changing. Uh, but maybe give right. the phone number and they can ring. Yes. And that, that's that's been there for like thirty years, I think. That phone yeah. number. Okay, so. same one. So I'll just say send phone. Yeah. To ID. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for doing that. It was wonderful. And um, yeah, we'll probably be in touch. So <laughs> All right. have, I'm actually giving another presentation this afternoon on the Apple oh, Watch to my oh, crowd. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> We're going to be madly yeah. doing that now. So yeah, see you later. Uh, thanks, Asunda. That was great. Bye. 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 <laughs>